Hi everyone, welcome to the VMD tutorials. Today we'll continue learning how to analyze the data resulting from molecular dynamics simulations. And we will be working on very important analysis in which we will calculate the number of specific molecules around your protein or inside a specific domain of your protein. And I mean by molecules here, for example, could be a solvent molecules. If you are solvating your protein in water and you are interested to know how many waters or how many water molecules diffuse to a specific distance from your protein. So you can calculate the number of these water molecules, like for example, within five angstrom from your protein. Or you may be interested in, in how many waters, sorry again, how many water molecules diffuse into, for example, a specific domain of your protein, like an active site or a binding domain. So this is just an example of water. You can have different molecules in your system. You can have different solvents, but today we will work on water. But the, uh, the idea of the calculation is the same. And for this, I wrote a very simple script based on VMD tutorials in TCL, and I want to share it with you. And then we, we will go over it line by line, then we and to understand it, and then we will uh, try it here using, uh, I have a trajectory of a protein simulated in water, so we will calculate the number of water molecules around the protein during the simulation and we will have very nice data at the end, okay? So I'll get back to my script here. In the first line, what does set nf mol info top get number of frames? So the mol info command is used in VND to get an information about your loaded trajectory. And here I use it to get information about the number of frames. I want to know the number of frames of my loaded trajectory and then I assign it into a variable called nf because I will use it later in my calculation okay so now we got the number of frames then we will set an output an output file because we need to print out our, uh, the calculation into file then to use it later to plot a nice figure for publication okay so for this I will assign an out file and I will use the writing function of TCL I say open any name you want, I call it water number, do that or do text, whatever, and I am in the writing mode, okay? So VMD will write my data into a file called openwater.dat, okay? So now we got the, the, the first two steps, we assigned the, we got the number of frames, assigned it to variables, and we set an out file. Then we need to have a selection. We need to know this water will be in which distance from, from protein and what is my selection. Okay, so I will set cell. This is my variable. It could be A, B, C, or whatever. But I like to use uh, cell to be in consistence to be consistent with VMD tutorials. So I will set cell. Atom select top my top protein or my top uh, loaded molecule. Then I will say calculate the number of water molecules and within two angstrom of my protein. Okay, but you may ask why I set to to, to VMD that name OH2, why it didn't say water or the solvent I have. The reason here is VMD dealing with atom names, not residue name. It will not understand if you have another residue. And not in order not to calculate it for each atom, we need to assign only one unique atom in your molecule so that you calculate only one molecule. And to understand this, let's have a look on the PDB file of water. You see, each water molecule have three different atoms, H1, H2, OH2. So when I say water and name OH2, so VMD will calculate for each water molecule because each water molecule have only one unique atom, okay? So it will not go for all the atoms. Okay, so now we have the number of frames, we have an out file, we have a selection, water and name OH2 within two angstrom of, of protein. Then simply we will have a for loop because we want to loop this calculation around the trajectory. So first we will initialize our for loop with the first frame. Then we will set the condition if my current frame is less than the, the, the last frame so the calculation will be continue until I reach it. If not, close the, 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 the loop. No, if it's if it's still less the the last uh, less than the the, the, the last frames, so uh, go on and increase my increment by by i, which is one frame. Okay. Then in my statement, 
I assign my current frame and ask VMD to update the computation so it calculates for each frame. Then I, cal uh, I set a variable called mol number or whatever you want and I will ask it to, to get the number of molecules of my selection which was what? Which was water, okay? So now we are getting the number of water molecules in this frame. So in each frame you assign new value to this variable, okay? So now I have the first variable is my frames and the corresponding number of my selection to this frame. Okay, so now with these two variables I will use the puts function of TCL to write this uh, values into an out file and what I will write is my frame and its corresponding mole number which is the number of, of water molecule corresponding to this frame and then I close my out file okay might look uh, complicated but I'm trying to simplify it as, as much as I can and you can go over VMD tutorial to try it okay so I will sum up quickly that what we did is we got the number of frames we set an out file we set a selection, this could be 5 for example, or whatever, I can make it 3, whatever you are trying to do. Then we wrote a for loop, so that we loop this calculation around the whole trajectory. And then we, we wrote our data into an out, the out file that we set in the beginning, and then we closed. So let's try to apply it, and I will save it here. I will open my VMD. new molecule I'll get my TSF as I said it's a protein simulated in water it's just short trajectory around 750 frames I'll get some water until it loads okay so what we wrote is we want to calculate the number of water molecules at a distance of 3 angstrom from my protein for each trajectory. So we will just go to extensions to the console and we will source the script that we read that we just written together. Let's say source name of my script I named it res.tcl and we'll hit enter. It will take a while to calculate because it's 750 and then we will check the out file. Okay, it is done. Yeah, I have it here, water number to that. And this is the number of the frame number and this is the number of water molecules. Okay, so this is a changeable. So you will scroll down, it's changed depend on the simulation. And then you can, uh, it's here 749 because it starts counting from zero. So then you can get this data and plot a nice figure for the number of molecules for each uh, frame of your trajectory or each nanosecond or whatever okay so let me go over the script again it was here and I want to make another change let's calculate the number of water molecules in the active side of the protein okay so what we do here is the same selection let me make this three and I will say of a protein and res ID and you write the ID of your active side residues and because I know this protein it was 314 uh, I think 300 no no it was 114 358 uh, and 318 or something it's not important so this is my active side residues so now I will calculate the water within 3 angstrom of my of my uh, residues let's make it 2 angstrom because to be close okay so we get something okay so before i go back to vmd here you get the number of frames and then you open a file to write your data into and then you write a loop to 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 loop your your computation but let me change the name of the out file let's call it water number or water active sites okay and don't forget to save and then i will get back to vmd again and we will sort the script one more time and hit enter it's working now it's done and now we have a new file for the active site
okay and interestingly you see that it was 800 you let me open the the other file here the around the whole protein the, of course you will have high number like 800 water molecules because it's around the whole protein but around the active side I have one two one one or even I don't have so this can give you some nice information on how your active site is exposed to solvent which is water okay so that's the calculation and I want to stress on a point again that I might not explain it very clearly which is sorry which is the unique atom in your selection this is very important the unique atom you have to assign a unique atom so that VMD not, uh, don't get confused so the idea is if I get a unique atom from each molecule so I am calculating for just one molecule not the whole atoms okay so this is for today and let me know if you need any information and if you need this script uh, just start, write your email in the comment section I will send it to you because VM, uh, YouTube doesn't allow me to, to, to copy and paste